Well, good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas, and it is almost five o'clock, and I just want to begin to share in some groups that I uh, like to share in, in the morning, and so if you just give me a few minutes to get that set up, I will get started, hopefully directly on five o'clock. Um, so... So I hope you're having a great morning. Um, it is a beautiful day outside. It's going to be a beautiful day today. And, uh, so today's verse that we're going to deal with is um, Romans 10.10. 10. Romans 10.10 10 says this, is for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified it is with your mouth that you confess you profess your faith and are saved and this is a key thing it is with your heart that you believe and are justified it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved well just a couple days ago um i was in uh, in jail <laughs> let me explain that to you uh, once a week, I, I uh, go into jail to do jail church, and uh, there were several inmates, and I was discussing the topic of, we we're doing a study called I Am Second by Kyle Inman, and uh, we're talking about a, being a follower and following Christ, and we got on the subject of accepting Christ and professing Christ as the Lord. And as we were in that discussion, I was talking about asking Jesus in your heart, professing with your lips that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And it was interesting that you were really in tune with it because, I mean, we have people that say, hey, yeah, I believe in Christ, but there's an act of really asking him into your heart to really come to a, understanding that Christ is Lord I mean we can say hey um, I believe in God but until you really solidify that in your heart it's just lip service I mean there's a lot of people that says oh, I believe in a higher power but until you say yeah um, uh, until you put it directly in your heart I mean, it's just a lot of lip service. Uh, I was talking about how, you know, there's a lot of people that says, uh, you know, I think I'm going to heaven because I'm a good person. That doesn't, being a good person does not get one person to heaven. You know, that that is not going to get you to heaven. Uh, having Jesus Christ in your heart, living for Jesus Christ is what gets you into heaven. And, uh, so, the verse says, For it is with your heart that you believe and is justified, and it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. You have to go beyond lip service. It has to be in your heart. And we have to know that. I, uh, you know, there's, there's so much more than just it takes full all-in commitment and uh, it's a deep subject for this morning but we have to come to an understanding that there has to be um, a true divine change in one's life it's going to be automatic no especially if you've never really made that change um, you know there, there's a you know the idea the bible says to continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. What does that really mean? That means that you're going to continually look at your stuff and say, man, I need to work out a lot of things in my life. I need to continue to check myself, you know, look at my life. And because there's so many imperfections, why are there so many imperfections? Because we're human. And I'm going to continue to work to be a better reflection of who Jesus is in me. Jesus is perfect perfect in 
every way, and we are not. Man, there are so many imperfections. Not that Jesus made us imperfect, but we are make, we make so many bad choices as humans that um, we need to continue to work. I mean, we make mistakes. I mean, it's uh, why would you know? For all have sinned and, sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Um, it is by grace that we've been saved. You know, so on and on. And on. So the very fact is that we need to continue to work on that. It's not works that we're saved, but it's the very fact is that we need to continue to look at our lives and say, God, I know I have uh, need to work on that. We need to work. I know there's a lot of beliefs that says, man, you ask Jesus in your heart and you're saved. That's true. You're saved. But... Once saved, always saved stuff doesn't work for me. I know that uh, we need to ask for forgiveness. We need to repent. We need to realize that Jesus is bigger than anything. We need to continue to check ourselves. We need to, you know, every morning I wake up and I say, God, forgive me. And if I can remember the things I've done wrong, I name them. If we just say, God, forgive me, forgive me for all my sins, the ones that I've done, that's great. But if you can remember them, say, God, I forgive me for saying those bad words. You forgive me for, you know, do that. So get out your notebook, write out this verse, Romans 10, 10. It's, uh, it says, for it is with your heart that you believe and is justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. Write out that verse. Put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P, pray. So I've got two uh, unspoken prayer requests. And always we pray for Abby. Abby will be returning soon. But if you're watching this in January, this is a rebroadcast of this. Because in January I'll be... Uh, uh, taking that month to refocus and be praying and and it's, we have a 21 day uh, prayer and fasting which um, just believing and uh, doing some journaling and reading and and so during that time I'll be, be rebroadcasting some of my morning devotions but you still can email me your prayer requests and message me your prayer requests and I'll be putting them in my prayer journal but the month of January, I'll be rebroadcasting some of my morning devotional. So they'll be still prevalent and they'll still be um, good to listen to. But uh, just want to encourage you that uh, for 21 days, I'll be rebroadcasting some of these devotions. Not that I don't care. I just, the beginning of the year is just like I need to make new, re new Year's resolutions. Um, I, it's my retweaking and retuning in to the Heavenly Father. So that's that's when you will see these once again so anyways so let's pray lord i thank you so much for your presence and for your power i pray that you bless everyone's watching now and watch later I pray that you encourage them lord god i pray for these unspoken lord god you know what they are i pray that you meet them i pray for abby i pray that you bless her lord as she ministers i pray that you heal her body of the sickness that she has i pray that lord that you use her to do great exploits for you lord in your name amen have an awesome day. Love you guys. We'll talk to you later. Have an awesome week.